Nice snake. Nice snake. You pet him? Nice snake. Nice touches. Nice snake. So, uh, nice. Doing a little road cruising today. Hoping to find some mud dragons. Snapping turtles. It is their nesting season and I've got a few promising reports. Uh, my brother-in-law saw one last night and then a friend of mine actually saw two in our driveway today. So I've been doing a lot of road cruising the last couple weeks but so far I've only been finding dead painted turtles one live painted turtle and zero snappers. I really want to find some snappers guys and this is the time of year to do it so yeah um, I'll be really sad if I don't find one but I'd be even sadder if I didn't look and if you're watching this video then I suppose that means I found something worth sharing here's one of these very deceitful rocks I was talking about cruising on by that thing not for sure we were dealing with a snapper. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a good spot for him, alright. But just, just no luck. Seems like everybody else has better luck than me, you know? It's one of those situations where you're looking for them so you don't find them, but... Well, no turtles yet, but... Um, yeah. A snake. F a really fat uh, red belly. Let's see if I can uh, focus on her a little bit here. She's probably gravid. And look at the check that out. She's a pretty one. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm going to also have in this video a... Um, a ring neck snake that I found a few weeks ago. Um, for all my commenters who tell me that these red belly snakes are ring neck snakes, um, compare them, you know. Check out this snake and then check out the uh, the ring neck snake after this and you'll, you'll see that there's uh, quite a difference between the two. Not least of which is the fact that the red belly has a red belly and the ring neck has a yellow belly but yeah there you go so I'm gonna put her back I don't want to stress her out too much and uh, I guess I'm gonna stop looking for turtles and start looking for snakes having shifted gears onto snakes I've made my way down to a familiar pile let's see let's hope mm. big cricket right there Feels like a good day for him. But so far, nothing. It's a millipede. Thought I saw a snake. Got excited. No, well, it's a snake. Little garter.
Oh, hey. That's a garter worth writing home about. Ooh, I'm loading a lot of that musk. Come here. You're all right. It's no big mama, but this is a respectable sized garter snake. I don't know if she's got any buddies in here. Brought her out into the path here. Try to get a better look at her. She's a real pretty one. I want to let her go, but I know she'll just take off. Come here. Yeah, that's a nice snake. Beautiful. I don't know if I can get her to stay put or not. No, I guess not. I guess I've abused her enough. I'm going to put her back where I found her. Good night for garters, I guess. <laughs> Real good night for garters. That's, uh... Number four? No turtles yet, but I did find this beautiful little ring neck snake. Check him out. Gorgeous. Love these guys. I'm going to sit him down on the path here. I'm going to try to flip him over so you can see his yellow belly, but I don't know. He's not going to stay there long. Ooh, see? Check it out. See? There you go. Let him get away because I want to put him back where I found him. Alright. Time to release this little guy where I found him. And there he goes. Another red belly. This time it's a brown face. The last one was gray. Again, not a ring neck, even though there is a ring around its neck.
one surefire way to find some Finger Lake snakes is to uh, come on down to the lakes and start nailing these uh, northern water snakes. They're all over the place. This spot in particular on Mount Seneca Lake. And uh, yeah, right along this, uh, this wall here is just loaded with these northern water snakes. Now, they musk like nobody's business and they bite. So, maybe not the most fun to handle, but uh, hey, it's a snake. And some can get good size on them, too. Bring him here into the sunlight. Just sit him down here on the ground, see if he'll Maybe pose for us a little bit. Gonna go under my camera bag, I guess. Now he's making for the water. This one hasn't nailed me yet. But, uh, usually, if you're gonna catch one of these guys, you're gonna get bit. They have this pretty, uh, like orange coloration on the underside, you can see. Well, a lot of speckling. Otherwise, you know, a pretty drab looking snake, I guess, but I like them. I think they're interesting. Let's check them out. You see them? I try to grab one by hand, but there's enough here in the shallows to take a look at. Absolutely loaded with these tiny tadpoles, and most of them have um, their arms and legs fully developed. There are a few with shrinking tails. Pretty cool. There we go. Let's see if I can film him without him hopping away. Uh, have you ever seen such a tiny frog? So very cool, right? Smaller than my pinky now. It's amazing that these things can even find stuff to eat. Oh, I was heading home. So a turkey vulture poke its head out of this ditch. And that could mean that there's a dead turtle in there, I suppose. So we're going to scroll on by him again. See what's going on. There he is. This in park. Let's see what's in that ditch, guys. I hope it's not a turtle, but it wouldn't surprise me. I have no idea what that was. It stinks though. It stinks terrible. It kind of looks. I mean, I guess it's it's probably a snake, huh? Yeah. Ooh, god, that reeks. It's amazing what those things eat. Can I put them like right here? Yep, that's fine. Let them go. There he goes. Bye, turtle. Look at him swim. <laughs>